Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are doing my December empties. So I'm trying to squeeze this one in before New Year, um, just to get it all out of the way and all done. These are the products that become empty in December. So it looks like it's quite a lot. There are definitely more masks this month than anything else. Um, but just before we dive into this video, if you don't know what empties videos are, um, it's basically where I go through every product that has become empty this month. I'll tell you if I liked it, if I didn't like it, whether I buy it again and just a little bit about the product. Um, I don't go into the ins and outs of the ingredients or anything like that, just my opinion on whether I liked it or not. As always, as a kind of disclaimer, I do receive beauty boxes. I have bought a million and one advent calendars this year as well. Um, so a lot of the products are miniatures. I do get a lot of miniature products, which obviously isn't great for the environment, but I do like to try them out. Um, I like to use products completely before I actually get rid of the bottles. Uh, I don't like anything to go to waste. And where possible, if I do get a product and it's not right for me, then I do try and pass it to someone or try and find a home for it so it's not wasted. But yeah, so let's dive into this. I'm going to start with the masks because there's just a million of them here. So if you do like these kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I've got loads more videos to come next year. Okay, so the first masks that I've used are actually for my Foreo UFL2 device. I have had mine for quite a while now and I love it. So these are the masks that it comes with. Um, you can buy different masks to go with it. Um, I can't actually reach it right now, it's on my shelf. I'm sure you've probably seen it before. I'll link my Foreo UFO video up here if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, basically it comes with these little masks. They're very, very small, little circular masks. You pop them on the device um, and the device actually uses LED technology. It pulsates and it also heats up and cools down as well to basically give your skin the right conditions to absorb all the ingredients in these masks. So the ones that I've finished are the Bulgarian Rose. Uh, I've also had Make My Day, which is a daytime one, and then two of the Call It A Night masks. So they're all slightly different, and um, they all do different things, or slightly different ingredients, um, but I absolutely love these. I love the nighttime ones, I feel like they're just so nourishing on my skin. Um, the Bulgarian Rose just smells so good. It reminds me of Georgia, I don't know if you've ever used that. Um, it's basically like, like a tan accelerator product I use on holiday, under my SPF, don't worry, always SPF. No, but yeah, it smells like that, so it just kind of reminds me of holiday, which is something I'm missing a lot. Um, but yeah, this is amazing, love that one. Um, and the Make My Day one, that's a hyaluronic acid and red algae, so it's super, super hydrating. Um, but yeah, so those are the masks, so I have used four of those this month. I do try and use my Foreo like once a week, only because I have loads of other masks at the moment as well, so if I use it more often, um, I just have too many masks to use, so I just try and spread it out a little bit, try and mix it up, and if I've not used it in a while, I'll try and use it a couple of times. Um, next, we've got some other face masks, so the other ones that I've used, one from Rodeo, the Pink Diamond Lifting Face Mask, I love this. This leaves your skin like glowy, it leaves a nice like sheen over it. It reminds me a little bit of the, the Kylie Cosmetics um, Illuminating Primer when you put that on. And also actually, recently, what did I use? The La Masca, I'm going to come on to it in a minute. These little La Masca primers, Beyond Veil Skin Glowing Gel. It's the same kind of shine. Um, bit of a glow, really really nice and I love these because they're a biocellulose sheet mask because it fits your skin perfectly, it gets in every little part of your face, it goes really really nice down around your nose, it's all very snug so the ingredients can penetrate your skin and yeah these are amazing, I love these ones. Next one is Nip and Fab Vitamin C Fix Face Mask, so this is the next one I used. This is vitamin C, it's part of the vitamin C range, so it's meant to be illuminating. This had a lot of serum in it, which was really good. I hate those when you pull them out and they're like quite like, they only dry really fast. I don't really like that. I'd rather have them drenched in the serum. Um, so this had vitamin C uh, to brighten and refresh and re reinvigorate and purify. Um, this was a nice mask. I did enjoy this one. And yeah, my skin did feel good afterwards. There wasn't any noticeable... Um, results. I mean, I think with a lot of these masks you don't get instant noticeable results. Occasionally when you take one off, like, you'll be like, oh, and you can see a difference. Um, obviously those aren't like long-term differences, um, it's just because the product has literally just been on your skin. But obviously this, it's just nice to keep on top of a mask, it keeps your skin hydrated, and yeah, it just helps your skin stay looking good. Um, whereas with this one obviously there was a bit of a shine to it, that's, so that'll just be a couple of the ingredients in there that's making it illuminate, which is nice. Um, the next two I used are actually from Dr. Jart. So one of these was in the ASOS advent calendar I think, and the other was in, I can't remember, there was another one in the advent calendar, but I used both of these. So the first one is the Ceramidin Facial Barrier Mask, Intensive Skin Barrier Moisturising Sheet Mask. I used this because my skin was a little bit dry, um, this was amazing, this is like so nourishing, it's a little bit thicker, like the serum that it was drenched in. I felt like it was thicker, so it was definitely more nourishing, definitely more creamy, and definitely more like hydrating and nourishing, so 
it was just repairing my skin i felt like that was amazing afterwards when i took it off like it could just like moisturize your skin with the rest of it and it did take a while to soak in before i went in with a moisturizer so really like that so if you've got any dry skin definitely recommend that one and then the next one was the soothing hydro solution sheet mask with Aqu aquaxil and quick soothing complex so that was this one so this was more hydration so this wasn't as creamy as the other one very nourishing though very very hydrating and these are just amazing um i've only used maybe two of these masks in the past um, but not these ones it was a blue one and i didn't realize how good they were i must have forgotten but yeah amazing i love those so definitely recommend those ones um, I think they sell those on ASOS as well. Um, I'll also link all these products down below, uh, or as many as I can, because a lot of these might be in the sale at the moment with the Christmas sales going on. So if you want to try any, now is probably the best time to do so. Okay, the next masks were actually eye patches, and these are both from Rodeo. Um, I did get the Rodeo 12 Days of Tara kit last month, and it came with these, so I used these ones. Um, I've used these ones a lot before. This is the Dragon's Blood Jelly Eye Patches. Um, I do really like these. I feel like they just work really nicely. Uh, they're not too like harsh under my eyes, they're quite nourishing. And then the other ones are this Bee Venom, Revitalising Firm. I've never used these before, but these are pretty cool. I did really like these. Um, I'm not sure I could tell the difference when I'm actually using them, but I feel like they must be doing something. And I do really enjoy using these, so yeah. Based on like texture, they're kind of like the jelly ones, so I feel like they sit perfectly on my skin. They don't slide down. Um, they don't stick to it too much they're just they're perfect i really like them so yeah 10 out of 10 for those and then the final mask is actually a hair mask so this is the bamboo oil from i think it's from the brand hask I've ripped the top off it oops i want to say it's from hask i'm pretty sure it is yeah it's hask okay <laughs> uh yeah bamboo oil uh strengthening deep conditioner to reinforce and nourish all hair types 50 ml this was just in my drawer, so I thought I'd use this. I do have quite a few different hair masks open at the same time, so I just dip in and out of them. I must say, I didn't really like this one. Um, like you do get a lot of product, which was good, so it was just like a one-time use thing for me. So I separate my hair, um, and then drench it in this, and then French plait it, and then I tend to sleep in it. Um, and I just feel like the next day when I rinse it out, my hair is just more nourished. It feels, it feels easy to like run my fingers through it, and it just feels soft. I quite like it. However, with this one, it, the smell put me off completely. I don't really know how to describe it. I expect it always to smell a bit coconutty, like all these masks always have a bit of a coconut smell to them. Um, and I do really like that, but this one, yeah, bamboo oil just, I don't know if that was the smell, it just didn't smell nice at all. Um, so obviously I had to smell it when it was in it, but then when I washed it out, the smell was still there. So if you do like the smell, great, because your hair smells like it after you've washed it, but for me it was just a bit of a no. So yeah, I sprayed lots of like leave-in conditioner on to try and get rid of the smell then after that. But yeah, that's just not one for me. Okay, next product, easy one. Nivea Micellar Water. This is great. I always have micellar water in. Um, great for removing swatches, removing eye makeup, um, just before cleansing my skin. And this was a good one. You know, I, I can't really tell much of a difference between these kind of ones. Uh, this is one I've just opened recently after finishing this one. Um, yeah, it, it's fine. It's nice. Um, I would get it again. I really like it. Um, I tend to just get whatever's on offer, to be honest, whether it's the Garnier or the Nivea one. Um, this one I got in a glossy box in the summer, and I've finished using this one. I like to save my miniatures for going away, but then I'm just getting a stash of miniatures and I'm not going anywhere. So I thought I'd best actually use them before they all kind of like expire. So I've been using these miniature ones. But yeah, this would have been great for travelling. This is like the perfect size um, that I would take on holiday with me. Um, but yeah. This is the one I usually go for, and it's been on offer in Look Fantastic recently for like half price, so now's the time to stock up on this if you like it. Um, I feel like you just get a little bit more in these kind of bottles than this one. This is 200ml, this is the miniature and it's 125 whereas that big one, is that 500? 400ml. So yeah, usually I get the Garnier one more often than the Nivea, but they're both absolutely fine. My cellar water is my cellar water to me. Okay, let's do some more hair products then. So, I've actually got quite a few hair products. So, the first thing is this shampoo. This is from Monday Hair Care. So this is a new brand. Oh, well, it's a new brand for me anyway. Um, and it actually only launched on ASOS a couple months ago, I think. Um, I got this in one of the ASOS boxes, the hair care box. Um, I love the packaging for starters. Like, how cool does that look? It's just so different. This looks amazing in the bathroom as well. I love it. Um, so this is a smoothing shampoo with shea butter, um, 350ml. I thought this was really nice, I really enjoyed using this, my hair felt super clean after using it. When I say smooth shampoo, I don't really get what it means because my hair didn't look any smoother afterwards, like, 
Like today, for example, I've just washed my hair and blow dried it. I've not straightened it because I'm planning to um, put a wave in it later. But, you know, I feel like today mine is smoother than usual. And I've actually used a different shampoo today um, than usual. I've opened a brand new one. Um, but I didn't really get that result from this. So I don't know whether it's, you know, not so smooth on my hair. I don't know. But overall, I thought this was really nice. It worked well to clean my hair. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, I found it quite tricky to, like, actually get out, though. Um, I quite like ones that are, like, this you know that you can open at the bottom and just squeeze whereas this one i had to like take it off my shower shelf because i didn't want to press down on the shelf um, and then when you're in the shower to hold it like this with your hands it was quite tricky and you know it slips out a little bit. bit of a challenge um but if you're just like if that's on a shelf that doesn't move or you're not worried about the shelf coming off the wall then yeah it's nice but then when it got to the end as well i did have to take this off and try and like pour it out whereas like packaging like this is just easier for me i think but this one looks better like how cute does that look i love it it looks amazing so yeah, I would get this again, but it's probably not the top of my rebuy list, but if I got it in boxes or anything, I'd definitely use it. It's a really, really good shampoo. Then, as you've just seen, I did actually finish the Shampoo and Conditioner Duo from Brio Geo. So it's these two here. This, these were in the Cult Beauty Advent Calendar. These are worth £12 each, so pretty pricey shampoo and conditioner. Now, this is like such a different shampoo for me. So this is the Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. And this was actually like grey, you can see it there, actually like a grey shampoo because it's got charcoal in it. So this is like, it had like bits in it as well and you can just like exfoliate your scalp at the same time. And I thought it was really nice because which for me, scalp exfoliating products I find just kind of sit there. It's really hard to like get it in my scalp without getting it just in my hair everywhere because it just sits in my hair. Whereas when it's a shampoo already, I just thought that was so much easier way to do it. And this was really nice, it smelled so good as well, you could really smell like like eucalyptus or something in it peppermint oil yeah it was really really nice i do like that that was a really good one and then following up with the don't despair repair deep conditioning mask this was gorgeous as well this was so good um really recommend this and like i said with the packaging it's just easy when you just open it you can just squirt it out and then it's just for me i don't have to sit there like trying to tip bottles up or anything like that it's just easy to get it out while you're in the shower and yeah would love to use those ones again and uh, i think they're quite pricey so if they're in advent calendars or gift sets or beauty boxes, then definitely yes. Okay, another shampoo conditioner duo that I finished is actually from Avida, and it's these two. So these were in the Selfridges advent calendar this year. Um, obviously because I open my advent calendars from September onwards to film them, I start using the products earlier, so that's why I've got through so many advent calendar things already. This is the Nutriplenish Shampoo and Conditioner Light Moisture. Um, these were really nice. To be honest, they... Avida products I've tried, I've always like really liked. There's not one, been one bad thing yet I've tried. Um, this shampoo was like a bit weird though. Like, it was like super, super runny. So yeah, I, as I put it on my hand, it kind of like, you almost had to quickly put it back before it like dribbled off. So yeah, this, I probably wouldn't get this one again. Um, the way it worked though, like I felt like my hair was super clean. It was like, it lathered really nicely, lots of bubbles. Um, but I just found it just too runny for me. So I probably wouldn't get that one again. Um, it's nice, you know, if I got it in a box, I'd definitely use it again, but I don't think I'd choose to buy that one. Um, the conditioner was amazing, I love this one so much. Um, I judge a conditioner on how well I can run my fingers through my hair when I get out of the shower, and how well it brushes before I dry it. Um, with this one, I could put it in and then put my fingers through my hair, loved it. So yeah, my hair felt super nourished, hydrated, and it was just easy to brush. Um, easy to dry afterwards, not too much knotting or tangling or anything. Okay, another hair product is from Hairburst. It's the Volume and Growth Elixir. Um, improves gloss as volume. I was using this as like a spritz just before I dried my hair. I thought this was really nice. It kind of detangles as well. It says it's a multifunctional spray containing ingredients shown to add volume, provide fuller looking hair, improve gloss and heat protection. So yeah, it was like a leave-in conditioner heat protection spray kind of thing. Um, yeah, this was really nice. I've never used hairburst before, so when I got this, I was super excited to try it. It smells amazing. It smells like coconut, but it's just like super, super strong. So I literally have to hold my breath as I'm like spritzing all through my hair because if I breathe it and I literally like choke, it's that strong. Um, but overall, results-wise, this is really nice. I do like this. Uh, again, this makes it really easy to brush with my tangle teaser afterwards. And yeah, I feel like it does the job. So I did like that one. Just, like, just a very overpowering smell. Another hair product we've got is from Living Proof, the Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. This was in last month's empties as well. And yeah, it was fine. It's just like a like a leave-in conditioner cream kind of thing um, to protect your hair before you dry it. I thought it was fine. You know, it did the job. 
Um, again, I, th I think I'd use this if it appeared again in a box or a calendar, but I don't think I'd go out my way to buy this one because I do have others that I prefer, um, like the Bedhead Ego Boost Leave-In Conditioner. I really like that one. But yeah, it was nice. It was creamy consistency. It did last a fair while. I'd literally nearly finished that one before the end of last month, so it was like my first empty of this month. But yeah, I think it was fine. Nothing too wow, though. Next, we've got a bit of a random one. This is my toothpaste. This is Regenerate. I love this one. This has been announced so many times before, so I'm not going to tell the story again. But yeah, this is a sparkly toothpaste. It is super, super nice. This basically is a little bit more expensive and it's meant to work to regenerate the enamel mineral and reverse the early erosion process. So obviously if you have lots of fruit, any fizzy drinks, anything like that, you know, it does cause your enamel to erode. So by using this, I just think it's protecting my teeth a little bit. It says it restores the original whiteness for three times stronger teeth, protects and strengthens against cavities. So yeah, I really recommend this. I think this is so, so good. But it is quite expensive, so I kind of wait till it's on offer and look fantastic before I stock up on it. Um, and then I do stock up. Okay, next I've got a body lotion. This is Anatomicals Boob Tube Grab Your Melons Body Lotion. This was in the October Glossy Box. Um, and this was in support of Copper Feel, which is the breast cancer charities, which I thought was really nice. This was a nice body lotion. It smells like watermelons. It wasn't really my favourite. It was just okay. Um, it was nice to use. Um, and I love the whole concept behind it, like, you know, grab your melons, it's just a reminder to check. But, yeah, it wasn't really wow, it was just okay. It, it was average, I'd say. Um, so I probably wouldn't get this one again, there's definitely others that I would pick before using that one. But yeah, I loved the whole, like, campaign behind it and everything, I thought that was amazing. Um, so that kind of makes me want to buy it, but it just wasn't massively wowed. Next, we've got one of my favourite products. This is the Dermalogica Biolumin C Serum. This is my favourite vitamin C serum. I am obsessed with this. This is amazing. It's just so, so good. Um, so it's like a very lightweight serum kind of consistency. You might be able to see some at the very bottom there. It's not going to focus, but yeah. Um, this is just so nice. I use this every single morning. Um, just a few little drops and then pat into my skin. And it just, it feels so good. It soaks into the skin really nicely. doesn't leave any residue and you just feel like you're protected. It says it works with skin zone defences to brighten and firm. I love this, it's my favourite one. Um, I've got another one, but I've just moved on to a different vitamin C at the moment just to try something else out. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. I definitely recommend this. This is my number one vitamin C serum ever. Okay, I've got a few cleansers now. So the first cleanser is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. This is the cleansing oil. Uh, this took me quite a while to finish. It's 150ml here. This was great at removing makeup. Did the job so, so well. Um, I just found it difficult to use because it was so oily. Like, you do a couple of pushes here and then you just get a pool of oil and before you know it, it's already like dribbled down your hand. So I much prefer the pre-cleanse balm that they do. It's basically the same product but a balm rather than um, an oil. Um, but it's really, really good. It does definitely remove the makeup. You know, it's great at that. And yeah, really, really good product. I do recommend it, but it depends if you prefer the oil or the balm consistency. And for me personally, I just prefer the balm, but personal choice. The next cleanser, which was my second cleanse, um, is from Oscu. It's the City Life Cleansing Concentrate. I actually kept the box for this so I could show you. So this was, it was okay. It's quite heavily scented, so I didn't really like the scent for starters. That's the bottle. So I do like the packaging because it's one of those where you press it to dispense it and it slowly, this plastic thing comes up. So you're scraping like every last bit of the product out of this. Um, so that was great. It's a gel consistency. Um, yeah, like I said, I didn't really like the scent and I found it was quite drying on my skin. So even as a second cleanse, using like a balm or an oil as a first cleanse, I felt like this completely stripped it. So like I'd like run from the bathroom then to come and put my serums on just because it felt so dry. So yeah, I wouldn't use this one again. I feel like it did cleanse my skin really nicely, but it was just too dry. Um, so I don't know whether it's just because I was using too much or I don't know. I just felt like it was a little bit too stripping. It has won awards, the Beauty Bible Awards 2020. But yeah, it's just, I don't know, I just felt like it was a little bit too stripping for me compared with other gel cleansers that I've used. So yeah, I wouldn't get that one again. Um, another cleansing balm that I've got is the Pink Diamond Cleansing Balm from Rodeo. This was really, really nice. This was 20ml, and I feel like there was just like too much bottle for product. I feel like they could have definitely fitted a lot more in there. And this didn't actually last that long, and it's quite an expensive product, I think. But... As a product goes, it was a really, really good cleanser. Great for removing my makeup. That's what I used it for as a first cleanse. It smells amazing. And yeah, it was a really, really nice product. I just think it's quite expensive for what it is. I actually got this on the Feel Unique Beauty Box. So you can definitely pick it up there and 
you know you're not paying full price for it so you can definitely try it out so i would get that one again um if it was in a box or an offer or something like that because it did it did work well i did like it and then another cleanser i've got is from amoravitsa and it's the thermal cleansing bar so this was in an advent calendar of some sort maybe harrods i think um this was so cool i love this so it was like a grey kind of you can see the bottom there a little grey brown kind of gritty consistency this was amazing not only did this like remove my makeup so well but it made my skin feel so soft because it was like exfoliating at the same time so yeah this was so good love this um i'll definitely get this one again this is my new one of my new favorites it's definitely on my list of favorites um i just wish it lasted a little bit longer like i wish we had a bigger pot um but yeah this is amazing if you want a good cleansing mod something that's a little bit different um, I can't remember the ins and outs of this product, but it does contain Hungarian more mud, uh, which is meant to like draw impurities from your skin as well. And yeah, it was amazing. Love that so much. So definitely recommend that one. Okay, next we've got a couple of eye creams. So we've got the Glossy Box Eye Boost Cream. This is a great eye cream. Love this. I've been through so many of these since they actually launched this. It's really, really good. Um, it's vegan, cruelty free, and it's just, you know, a very basic eye cream and it does the job. Uh, I was using this as a daytime eye cream so I was using more of a retinal one at night and yeah it was nice, it just nourishes the eye area um, I always have to put something underneath it, I can't go to bed without eye cream on and I can't put makeup on without eye cream on either, I need a bit of eye cream um, and yeah this is really nice, it says it reduces the appearance of dark circles and puffiness I don't really know if it did that um, but really really nice eye cream, very nourishing and yeah I enjoyed that then the other eye cream was the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue Cream comes in this gorgeous little pot this is amazing. This is definitely thicker um, than the Glossy Box one. Definitely more nourishing, so more of a winter um, eye cream for me. Um, but yeah, I love this one. I definitely need more of this in my life. Um, with it being so like thick and nourishing, I feel like it just actually like filled in any lines and stuff around my eyes. Super nourishing. Really love this cream. So hopefully I'm going to see if that's in some sort of sale somewhere. And maybe I can pick one of those up. I also actually tried a sample of the Magic Night Cream. This came in my latest Charlotte Tilbury order, just a little pod and you squeeze it out. This was so good. I, I use the Magic Cream at the moment, but I've never used the Magic Night Cream. But this was so good. It's super nourishing, really, really thick, moisturising cream. And I think that would be a perfect night cream for me for winter. Um, I think it'd be a bit too thick for me in the summer. I prefer more lightweight products then uh, when it's warmer, but definitely night time in the winter. Like, it was just so nourishing. Like, you wake up in the morning, you could still feel like the balminess of it on your skin like your skin's had a really really good drink yeah really nice love that one okay last few products so last couple of bits of skincare i've got a moisturizer from youth to the people which is the superfood air whip moisture cream this was just a sample that came in i don't know it was from cult beauty it came in maybe the calendar i don't know maybe a box this was really really nice it's got kale and spinach and hyaluronic acid in it um, this was like a creamy consistency, but as you like rubbed it into your skin, it just kind of like melted away. It was so good. So it's super lightweight. And I think this would be perfect for me as an all round kind of moisturizer. Um, I did look to repurchase this, but it wasn't actually available at the time. I think it's back in now. Um, so I might look to get the full size of this, although I don't really need more moisturizer right now. But it's so good. Really, really good. Really like this one. I felt like the consistency was just so different than any other moisturizer. Like the way it was kind of thick and nourishing but then it did just melt away um so it didn't feel thick and heavy on your skin once it was on just like soaked into your skin um actually felt really lightweight so yeah i really like that one um and then we've got a moisturizer from nooks it's the cream gel multi correction that's this one i've been meaning to try this one for ages it's been sitting on my shelf and i just eventually got around to doing it um because this is a gel one i think this for me is more of like a summertime moisturizer but it was really nice um, again, I really love this one as well. I'll definitely get this one as like a summer moisturiser and it smells amazing too. Yeah, really nice, really nice. It kind of reminds me of like a baby body lotion. I don't know. Really nice though. Yeah, so I do like that one. I've then finished one of the Pry Prey Ageless Throat and Decolletage Cream. This is just a miniature that I got in a box somewhere. This smells amazing. It smells like watermelon. It's so good. Um, this is super, super nice. It's quite quite a thick cream um, but again it melts into the skin really nicely so I was using it from here down to like here um, every night just massaging it in um, and yeah it was just just looking after that bit of my skin um, obviously that shows aging fast as well as your hands so it's super important to look after that area I just felt that was like really nourishing really really hydrating and I really like that one and then as I mentioned earlier 
I've finished two of these Illamasqua Beyond Veil primers. So it's the Skin Glowing Gel. So this is basically, it's like the Hydra Veil, but it's tinted and it's got a bit of a glow to it. Um, this was really nice. The only thing I don't like is the actual packaging. It's like super hard to get out. I mean, when you've got nails on, like to get right down to the bottom, it's quite tricky to get every last bit. I did use a scoop like dispenser thing that I got with a Sunday Riley product, but again, it was still quite hard um, to get out. And then once you get it out, it's like a, like a wobbly jelly. So if you got a big bit out and put it on your face, it's literally gonna fall off unless you quickly massage it in. Um, so yeah, the actual consistency and product packaging wasn't the best personally for me. But the product itself, once you've got it on your skin, it's amazing. Like it really smooths out your skin, makes it glowy, perfect base for makeup as well. Um, so yeah, I really like that one. Uh, next we've got um, a makeup item. This is the Natasha Denona Macro Blade Liquid Liner. This was my eyeliner for ages and then it eventually just dried up. So I'm going to open a new one. This is what it looks like. This was so good, definitely one of my faves. Perfect for getting the really, really precise flick. Um, really, really easy to go over like the contours of your eye. The, the actual tip of it is super flexible and yeah, really recommend this one. There's lots of product inside as well. Like the tip is very, very drenched um, in the product. So it's not difficult to get the eyeliner out either. And yeah, I really like this one. We'll definitely get this one again. Next we've got a product from Augustinus Beta. And this is the lip balm. This was in an advent calendar. I think it was Harrods maybe. Um, you can see how much I've used it. But yeah, completely empty now. I even tried to dig a bit out of my nail. Um, now this is £30 to buy. So I thought this is going to be a wonder lip balm. It's going to be amazing. Um, the packaging is amazing. It feels like really heavy. It's so nice. Um, it was super nourishing. But that NUX one still beats it. My NUX one that I've discovered. Rev de Miel Honey Lip Balm. That is the best one for me. Like I do get quite dry chapped lips. And when I put that honey lip balm on from NUX. It just fixes them. It soothes them. It just makes them feel nourished. It's just the best. Uh, this is a close second, but it's just not quite as good. Like, when I put this on, like, I'd still... It would just still sit there, and, you know, sometimes, like, where it was trapped, it'd get a bit itchy. So, I still prefer the other one. And, yeah, I wouldn't rebuy really this. If it was in a box or something, I'd use it. Yeah, it was nice to top up during the day. Um, but for fixing my lips, personally, that NUX product just blows everything else out of the water. And then, finally, we've got two body bath kind of products. Uh, we've got from the white company that you say shells at Bath & Shower Gel. This is gorgeous. This is my new favourite white company scent. This just smells incredible. It smells like holiday. It's gorgeous. Love the smell. Um, I really like these shower gels as well. They do last ages. Um, they do lather really nicely as well. And the, the scent lingers in your skin. So if you like the scent, then I do recommend that one. Um, next is the Niels Yard Remedies Aromatic Foaming Bath uh, 100ml. This was in the Amazon Advent Calendar. Uh, this didn't actually last that long and I thought the packaging was rubbish because it looks really nice, it's in a nice glass jar, so obviously not not plastic which is fab, but it was like really difficult to get out, so as you tip it up, it took ages for the like bubble bath to actually come out, so stuff for ages like trying to get it out. Um, this lasted about four baths and yeah, I thought it was okay. It was nice, um, but I wouldn't go out my way to purchase this again. Um, I'd use it again if it was there, but it was okay. You know, it was quite bubbly, um, the scent was nice, it's lavender geranium you know your essential oils kind of calming soothing scents um yeah nice and bubbly but wasn't wow um but yeah it was, it was okay so those are all of my empty products for december um and what i thought of them i'll try and link as many of these down below as i can uh, like i said with the sales on at the moment you might be able to pick this up for a cheaper price i'm definitely going to be having a look seeing what else i can get my hands on so yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video if you tried any of these products uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Yeah, and let me know if there's any other products that I should try. So as always, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.